this lecture we will introduce the accounting and discuss the first question we're going to have when we introduce just about any new topic and that is why learn accounting so we'll discuss that question and the basics of accounting we will be able to at the end of this describe reasons for learning and studying accounting define business objectives and contrast business objectives with personal objectives define what accounting is list and describe types of organizations so why learn accounting and i'm going to say because it's fun and that might not be the first thing that popped into your mind there, but I'm going to convince you of that, of course, by the end of the lecture here. Other reasons to learn accounting would be that some have described it as the language of business, meaning that it can help you understand uh, the, the business going on around you, even if you're not in the accounting department. Accounting helps to uh, measure and, and see it and connect different types of departments. So whatever department where you're in, accounting can kind of give you a bigger picture of, of how it relates to other departments and therefore how to better do the job that you're in in your department, whether that be the accounting department or not. I compare accounting similar to a puzzle in that you get similar enjoyment from fixing something as you do from doing a puzzle. So when something is in balance, you say something's in balance, we kind of figured the thing out. You get a similar enjoyment from that as in uh, working a puzzle. Same with kind of music. Music is a, is a pattern of things. So if you're actually to play music, first thing you have to know is learn that pattern of how the notes get put together and then you can have some fun uh, working with it. That's what we're going to start off with accounting is learning how the notes get put together which isn't the most fun piece because that takes some memorization. But once that's done then you can kind of put things together in the format of like a puzzle which is a lot more fun. Also compared to uh, something like checkers or chess in that it's on you notice this board's a nice spreadsheet which we like as accountants. So we got the spreadsheet here and we're going to move the pieces around. You can have some fun playing a game such as this. Same rules apply though. We have to first know how to set the pieces up on the board and we have to know how to move those pieces. That takes time to learn. Once we know that, then it can be somewhat fun to play the game. And I'm going to say the accounting is, this, is similar in that fashion. We got to learn how the rules work. Learning the rules is, is not the easiest thing to do in any of these uh, types of areas. Once we have done so, then it becomes a little bit more fun to play the game as we go. So business objectives to generate revenue by providing goods or services to a community. So we're going to say the business objective is to generate revenue as opposed to say a personal objective which is somewhat like to live well. And what we're going to do the first concept of the accounting is we're going to separate the business objective from the personal objective and that will help us measure uh, how well we're doing in both of those. So if we separate the business objectives then we can take a look at how we're doing in terms of this goal and then we can see how we're doing in a larger concept in terms of our personal goals, whatever those personal goals may be. So the, the business goals is going to be more defined. It's, it's easier for us to say, well, we're just a uh, business side of our lives is there to generate revenue. When we think about that, and then we think about assets, liabilities, owners, equity, income, and expense in that context, that's how we differentiate whether it's a business asset or a personal asset. It's a different goal that we're going to have. So if we think about an expense for the business, that's something that's helping us generate revenue in the same time period, as opposed to a personal expense that is something that anything that helps us to live well. So anything I spend that is not geared towards generating revenue is spent because I'm, it, it is an expense. It's a personal expense. If we think about assets, the assets of a business are there to help us generate revenue in the future. So if we have a building for the business that we work in, that's going to help us generate revenue in the future. That's why we have it. Uh, if we have a home, for example, on the personal side, the goal of the home is to help us live well now and in the future. So that's going to help us live well in the future. So notice this separation is going to help us to measure how well we're doing in both of those. We're going to generate revenue here. Then we can uh, take that revenue out of the business and sector and put it here on the personal and, and help it to achieve our personal goals in this fashion. So what is accounting? Accounting is the accumulated financial data into a relevant form which can be used to practice decision making uh, for both or either internal users or external users. So kind of a long definition here, but accounting is the accumulation of data. So we're going to have the daily transactions. We're going to accumulate that tra those transactions in some way. Why? Because then we want to uh, put that data into a relevant form, which is kind of like building a puzzle at that point in time. Uh, and, that, and that form, usually financial statements, will help us to make decisions and then better our, our business in the future. So that's the goal. So we have the input generally would be a bill or a, a receipt, some kind of transaction. And we would build something on that being a trial balance. 
And then from that, we can put that together, kind of like a puzzle, into something like financial statements, such as an income statement like this. That's going to be the, the process. We put data in, we make it into, uh, we store it, we make it into financial statements. Then uh, there are two general forms of accounting, which are uh, financial accounting and managerial accounting. So financial accounting is going to be dealing with the creation of the financial statements, actually inputting the data, uh, putting the data together, and making the financial statements. Those financial statements are actually for external users, like the bank, the government, the customers, uh, uh, investors. So notice the end goal of the uh, financial reporting is really for people outside of the company for the most part. That's not to say that management doesn't use it. That's not to say that they're not a big part of the internal decision making. But the actual financial statements that we're generating are, are geared towards external users. Then we have managerial accounting which is geared towards internal users. So that's geared towards management. And um, we are going to use the financial statements to make reports for management, but we may have other techniques that we're also going to use in terms of measurements for managerial accounting that are going to be different than the financial statements. We're going to focus here on financial statements uh, and then move on to managerial accounting at a later time. Business entities, uh, we could have a sole proprietor, which is owned by a single individual. We could have partnerships owned by two or more individuals and corporations or, uh, organized under state or federal laws as a separate legal entity. So this is, we're going to study it in similar fashion as this. We're going to start with the sole proprietor, uh, then we're going to move to the partnership. We're going to talk about the differences that happen when you go from a sole proprietor to the partnership. A lot of things are going to be the same. The transactions that you record when you pay the utility bill, same transaction to pay the utility bill. When you pay payroll, same kinds of concepts. But some things will differ. The main thing being different here, obviously, is we have two owners. So we're going to concentrate on the equity section, being that uh, the sole proprietor, uh, we only have one person to, who is the owner. The partnership, we're going to have two. We're going to have to divvy up the uh, revenue in some way. So that's the thing that is different from a partnership. And then we'll talk about a corporation. Once again, a lot of the things are going to be the same. Uh, we're not going to talk about a, a lot of things that are the same. We're, we're going to say that anything that is the same <laughs> is basically the same. And then we're going to concentrate on the things that are different, right? And, uh, and again, the things that's going to be a difference for a corporation, once again, is the equity side of, of the equation. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity because equity is now the stockholders. And therefore, uh, we're going to have to look at the equity section. The whole equity section will be uh, the same in principle in, if we were taking it as one number. But now we have to allocate it per stockholder. And that's what we'll concentrate on when we get to the corporate side. We also know that, co that the corporation is a separate legal entity which gives it some liability protection as well, which we will talk about. So we are now able to describe reasons for uh, learning and studying accounting, define business objectives and contrast business objectives with personal objectives, define what accounting is and list types of organizations.